Have you ever wondered why some students easily get a high score in IELTS writing task two while others struggle? If so, keep watching this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the simple step-by-step -step strategy that my most successful students use to improve your scores and dramatically cut your preparation time. So let's start off by telling you how I improve the average score of a whole school from 5.5 to 7.5 by getting them to work less, not more. So more than 10 years ago, I worked for one of the best IELTS schools in the world. I can't tell you specifically what the name is of the school, but it contained the letter B and C in the name. This school, despite being the best school in the country at the time, had a huge problem. Most of the IELTS students there were professionals. They were people like doctors, engineers, nurses, teachers, software developers, and they hoped of moving to countries like Canada, the US, the UK to get a better life. And the key problem was that they were all failing because of one thing, their writing score. In fact, the average writing score for the whole school for these very, very intelligent people was just 5.5 compared to 7.5 for listening and 7 for reading and speaking. This was not only harming the reputation of this very prestigious, expensive school, but it was ruining many, many lives because they couldn't move to the country of their dreams and many of them had to give up on jobs they had already accepted. And I knew there had to be a better way because these were all very, very intelligent, successful people who spoke English very, very well. They all had a high level of English, but what was their key problem? So here are all the things you need to learn to get a high IELTS score. And can you guess what they taught on this course? Yes, they taught absolutely everything. Problem number one was we were trying to cram in too much information in a very short period of time. This is called overwhelm and can completely destroy an IELTS student's chances of getting a high score. But even worse than that, we as teachers were wasting the student's time. You see, the vast majority of students don't need help with vocabulary, with grammar, speaking, writing, listening, reading, but we were overwhelming their brains with new information about all of these different topics that they didn't need help with. And this left us with just a few days at the end of the course to really focus in on the things that they did need help with. And at that point, the students were exhausted and many had just given up and stopped coming to class. So we needed to completely rip up this course and start from scratch. So what we did was we gave students two simple tests. And these two simple tests guaranteed that the students would only spend time on the things that they needed to improve. And this skyrocketed results. Results went from an average of 5.5 to 7.5 pretty much overnight. And the students were studying less, not more. And don't worry, I will show you exactly how we did this step by step towards the end of the video. I'll show you how you can implement this at home today and study less while increasing your scores. So, so far in this video, I've told you you need to work on your writing. Thanks, Chris, for telling me something I already know. But how does this knowledge actually improve your writing score and get you to study less. So let me show you how to improve your score using this water bottle and a drill. Each of these bottles represents the four marking criteria for IELTS writing task two. To get the score that you want, you must get at least that band score for all of the marking criteria. And this is a big problem for you because IELTS don't tell you which areas you need to work on. Students will say things like, I need to work on my vocabulary or I need to work on my grammar. But in my experience, all of these guesses are completely wrong. And to make matters worse, most local IELTS teachers or people saying that they're an IELTS expert online don't really know what they're doing either. So what happens when you have a problem you know nothing about? This is what happens. You see, most students don't have a problem with everything, they have a problem with one specific area. This not only lowers their grammar score, but actually makes the writing less coherent, which lowers their coherence and cohesion score as well. So you probably have one key weakness that you're unaware of, and this is gonna stop you moving to the country of your dreams. And according to our data, the average student fails three times or more than three times and wastes more than a thousand dollars 
repeating the test over and over again. Watch the rest of this video. We're gonna show you how to do that much, much faster and much, much cheaper. So step number one of our system is to clarify your goal. This first step is super important. Your only goal is to get the IELTS score that you need as quickly as possible. Nothing else matters. Why is this important? Well, students focus on many, many other goals. Your goal is not to keep your family happy or your friends happy by just doing the test over and over and over again because your mother or your father tells you to. Your goal is not to keep your local teacher happy by sitting in their classroom listening to stuff that is wrong. Your goal is not to save money by doing everything as cheaply as possible. And your goal is not to reduce the amount of hard work you have to do. You will have to do a certain amount of hard work. And finally, your goal is not to show off to the examiner how many big words you memorize or how many essays you've memorized. It's not a memorization test. Only thing that you are trying to do is get the score that you need as quickly as possible. Forget everything else. Now that we've clarified our goal, we can move on to step two, elimination. We want to eliminate the modules that we don't need to work on. So there are four modules, writing, speaking, reading, and listening. And if you have got half a band more in any of these modules in past tests, then you don't need to study that module. Let's say, for example, you need a band seven and you've got these scores in past tests. That means that you don't need to study this, this, or this. Congratulations, you just cut down your preparation time by 75%. And if you've never done the test before, I'll show you how you can do this for free. I'll give you a free video at the end of the video where you can use the same system even if you've not done the test before. Step three is optimize. Now that we know which module or modules to focus on, we need to identify the key weaknesses within that module and turn each key weakness into a strength optimize. Remember, you will not get a band seven unless everything is at a band seven level. You will not get a band nine unless everything is at a band nine level. Okay, so back to the four modules. If your weakness is in listening and reading, I'm going to give you a free video at the end and it will help you establish your key weaknesses in listening and reading. It's 100% free and you can do it today at home for free. But for speaking and writing, you need a real expert who has been an examiner for many, many years to listen to your speaking or look at your writing and give you feedback on that. And before you say, I can't afford that, your goal is not to save money. Your goal is to get the IELTS score that you need as quickly as possible. Which is more money? Failing the test over and over and over again or spending 20 to $50 getting an actual expert to give you feedback and tell you what your weaknesses are so that you can improve them. So if you're in the business of keeping everyone happy and saving a huge amount of money, then go and do that. Stop watching this video. But if you want to improve your IELTS score as quickly as possible, keep watching. But I know many of you will not buy anything unless you get a discount. Don't worry, I will give you a link to the best IELTS writing correction service in the entire world, and I'll give it to you at a discount at the end of this video. Now you have got real accurate feedback, you know what your key weaknesses are. The next step, number four, is slow down. You need to step back, slow down, and focus on improving each of those key weaknesses. Your goal is not to do lots and lots of practice tests and hope that you will get lucky on test day. You will not. So don't write any essays, don't do any practice tests until you have actually improved each of those key weaknesses and then get more feedback. Have you actually improved? If you are weak in that area, you probably can't give yourself feedback. You don't know what you don't know. So you need to go back to that teacher and say, have I actually improved? Am I at that score yet? And once you are, once you've turned each of those weaknesses into strengths, you can move on to step five, which is accelerate. Only now can you start practicing essays again. But don't worry if you're not up to match speed. You're not getting your task two essays done in 40 minutes. You're still in the learning process. So if it's taking you one hour to do a task two essay, try and do it in one hour and then the next one in 55 minutes and then the next one in 50 minutes and then the next one in 45 minutes. You're accelerating 
every time until you can comfortably get the score that you need in under 40 minutes. Do not book the test until you get to that stage. You are not ready until in practice you are consistently getting above the score that you need within the time limits set by the test. So I promised you a discount on our VIP course. So what we normally do is we normally give you just 10% off. What I'm gonna do with this video is I'm gonna give you 10% off and give you five one-on-one -on -one writing corrections for free. Normally we charge about $100 for five writing corrections. If you join our VIP course today, you get 10% off and $100 worth of feedback for free. Pretty good deal to say thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you want the video showing you how to find out your key weaknesses within listening and reading, check out this video. Thank you very much for watching to the end.